Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We're doing hypothesis testing with standard deviation and variance. Uh, and so what we're going to do now is read the problem. We need to be very careful about the information we pull out since standard deviation and variance are very similarly related to one another. It says a pizza manufacturer uh, says his pizzas have a variance in the diameter of 16 centimeters. He installs new equipment and now no longer thinks this to be the case. So he selects 40 pizzas off the line and finds that they have a standard deviation of 3.2 centimeters. Test the claim at a 90% level of confidence. Okay, there's a lot of information here and a lot of gotchas I want to point out to you so that as you solve your own problems, you'll look for the same gotchas. Okay, um, first of all, this is not just some guy making pizzas in his house. This is a factory, like a frozen pizza factory. They, they may make 100,000 pizzas a week there. Lots and lots and lots of pizza. So when it says a pizza manufacturer says his pizzas have a variance in the diameter of 16 centimeters, he's wanting to make sure that his pizzas are coming off the line more or less the same diameter. That makes sense to everyone. Now, the other thing is, when you read problems like this, when I first read it, I was like, whoa, diameter, variance in the diameter of 16 centimeters? That's huge, 16 centimeters, huge, okay? But notice it says variance. The variance in the diameter of 16 centimeters. Variance is very, um, as a very specific meaning, meaning in statistics. It's the square of the standard deviation. So if you wanted to look at it in terms of standard deviation, which is a lot more easily understandable concept that measures the spread of the data, right? You would take the square root of the variance, and the square root of 16 is 4. So when you think if they were to write the problem this way, it could also be rephrased as manufacturer says his pizzas have a standard deviation in the diameter of four centimeters. Four centimeters is about that big. That's not that big. But when they throw terms out like variance, just remember the variance numbers are going to be larger because it's the square of the standard deviation. It represents exactly the same thing. It's still representing the spread of the data, the spread of the diameter of these pizzas, but the number looks bigger. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. The next thing you need to know is notice that it says that he thinks the uh, variance is uh, the spread, the, the variance in the diameter is 16 centimeters, uh, and he installs new equipment, and now he no longer thinks this is the case. So it doesn't sound like a left or a right tail test to me because he doesn't say anything about he thinks the diameter is bigger now, or he thinks the diameter is smaller now, or the null hypothesis is bigger or smaller. All it says is he thinks he uh, he originally thought the variance was 16, and now he doesn't think it's 16 anymore. So this is going to end up being a two-tailed test. We're going to have a not equal sign in there. The third thing I want to point out before I write anything down is notice whenever they do the data collection, they take 40 pizzas off the line and they find that they have a standard deviation of 3.2 centimeters. Now this is a clever trick that can easily trip a student up. Notice that the data, when 